Good morning everyone. This is Nidhi Prakash and as you can see in the screen we will start our session in about 20 minutes. You can see the countdown on the top right corner. Hello Lavina, Hari Priya, Aditya, Bhavna, Sunita. See you soon in about 20 minutes. Till that time, you guys can get ready with your materials. You can draw a 6 inch by 6 inch square on your drawing paper. And hello Mridula. And today, we please keep one pencil also with you. We might need a pencil to draw the guideline in the very beginning. Pencil and eraser. And keep your black pen. If you want, you can keep the gray marker pen. That is absolutely optional. Otherwise, pencil will help in giving all the details at the very end with the shading. If you want, you can keep one thick tip black pen just for few fillings. Otherwise, the one black marker pen would be enough. See you soon, guys. Hello Vidhi, nice to see you here.
हेलो कृष्णा हाय मयंक हाय ऑल इन वन जोन गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन सेशन इज गोइंग टू स्टार्ट इन फ्यू मिनट्स यू कैन सी द काउंट डाउन ऑन द टॉप राइट कॉर्नर ऑफ द स्क्रीन हाय निकेश हेलो हरि प्रिया गणेशन
Hi Nikisha, it's so nice to see you here. Hello Lavina. Hey Lavina, how are you doing? Hi Rohit. I'm doing good, Lavina. Thank you for asking. Hi, Nathan Nissan. Hello Karuna, I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. How are you doing Karuna?
हेलो सिमर हे भावना वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग या जस्ट थ्री मिनट्स लेफ्ट वेरी एक्साइटेड मी टू सी यू सोन गाइज गेट रेडी विद योर सप्लाईज गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन गुड इवनिंग नमस्ते सो कैसे हैं आप हाउ आर यू ऑल डूइंग टूडे दिस संडे मॉर्निंग संडे इवनिंग एट सम प्लेस सो ऑल सेट फॉर टूडे सेशन एंड दिस इज द कॉम्पोजिशन विच वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉ टूडे मिक्सअप ऑफ लॉर्ड ऑफ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ पैटर्न एंड द नेम ऑफ this whole composition is enigma you can see on the top right bef- uh, up above the art therapy the name of the composition and i'm going to draw this composition in a 6 inch by 6 inch square sheet as you can see on my art table i'm going to use this micron pigma 08 pen the tip size of this pen is 0.5 mm and you can use black marker pen thick tip one just to fill some bigger areas pencil for the shading any blending device either the q tip or the earbud or the blending stump for the blending and yay that's all i hope everyone is ready you can use simmer 0.1 tip pen but that would be very very thin i'm using 0.5 so you might have bigger space to draw kind of so that would be fun uh, definitely you can use it no problem and uh, i want to say thank you to my husband who is helping me in the background on the chat hello ajay hello how are you guys so he is helping me in the chat and replying you guys on the chat as i am focusing on my art on my art table so before we start let me just show you once i am using this 6 inch by 6 inch tile they are the pre cut tiles in the 6 inch by 6 inch square shape they are specially made for the pattern drawing and for the meditative art 
we can draw these kind of pattern on any kind of paper even the printer paper or any or notebook pad anywhere I set up my compositions mainly all in a six inch by six inch square every single time if you see in all my sessions we are working in a six inch by six inch squares so that's how uh, that's why I asked everybody to draw a square on the paper before we start the class so let's start can we use black permanent marker absolutely Meghna you can use black permanent marker that is absolutely perfect you can go ahead and use it so before we start I would like everybody to grab your pencil and draw a very light square very light and not absolutely in the center of the page as you see it is kind of the top right corner so like this is the center of my page and it's this is going towards the top right corner and zoom the paper you can see it now I think Lavina and I drew very light because eventually we are going to erase these guidelines this is just for our uh, just for our uh, like to get the corners of these squares and we are going to erase these guidelines so don't draw very dark please then we are going to draw two two circles at each corner like that that's why we drew this that uh, you know square guideline before we started drawing those circles now I'm drawing directly with my pen still if you want you can go ahead and draw with your pencil no problem and then later you can retrace it with the pen it's absolutely your choice how you want to go about it I hope everybody is done hi Monica After this, we will work in these four corners and we will join our two corners like this. This will be our next step to join the corners. No problem Monica enjoy watching drawing and you can draw whenever you feel like and you can ask question if you find anything so that whenever you draw you can uh, you already have those answers right after this I'm just moving it a little sideways so that I can start joining the outer circles now like this Here you go and that's how we'll draw our basic pattern. Hey mom, good evening. How are you doing mom? Hey Manjula. Can we use a ruler to draw the square? Yes Nikisha, you can use the ruler to draw the square, no problem. But the only thing is don't draw very dark because eventually we are going to erase the guidelines. So once we are done with this pattern, we can erase our these guidelines careful if your pen ink is not dried yet then please don't smudge the pen lines so be very careful and it is the pencil lines after that we are going to I'm good thank you Manjula after that we are going to make double lines like and, uh, 
let's wait for people to catch up. Yeah, sure. I'm waiting, Suhani. No worries. Take your time. I kept my pen here. <clears throat> Yes, Mridula, you can draw this, these kind of pattern on any kind of paper, whatever book, notebook, notebook pad you have, <clears throat> or any printer paper, any drawing sheet, uh, whatever paper you have, you can draw it on. Just draw a six inch by six inch square on that. That is what I want because I set up my pattern in a six inch by six inch area. But you know, if you want to make it in a bigger size, you can definitely go ahead and you can make it in a bigger size you can increase these patterns as big as you want and you can add your own element too so there are no rules just feel free and do whatever you feel like yes thank you Mega. now we are going to make the double lines in all these first inner sections and then we will go ahead and we will make double lines in our outer sections so guys everyone please draw the double line in the inner four sections can you tell again how to draw this Ajay, can you please pass me one printer paper one printer paper from there <clears throat> So what I just did, I first drew the square as a guideline, then I drew these two circles at each corner, then I joined the inner, corner, inner circles, then I joined the outer circles. then i am i made the double line this is what i just did i'm com i completed all the four double lines i hope you get it now and after this we are going to make double lines in our outer part draw slow take your time and it is absolutely okay if it's not very symmetrical and it's not uh, coming along absolutely similar at the all four sides it's pretty organic design let it be and that is the fun of this kind of work that just let them flow in their own way awesome after this we are going to draw lots of you know petals which we draw yesterday also in, in i mean yesterday the last session those a lot of uh, small petals to make one leaf but here we are going to draw the petals and like i'm just drawing at one side here if you can see please look carefully here i'm drawing this big petal this is the first step then I will turn to the other side and make the small petal. Then other side make the small petal like this. So this is a group of petals. Keep changing, keep switching the sides and keep making them smaller. I have made the same pattern here. You see the big one, then small, then small, then small. And you keep on going until you reach to the bottom. So this is a very big size we are making exactly the same pattern in a very smaller way <clears throat> monica i'm using 0 0.5 mm tip pen and you can see the number of this pen says 0 0.8 but the tip size is 0 0.5 mm So first at any side you can make the big one 
then small inside it then small inside it you can make them four you can make them five three or two it depends in uh, however a way you can make they can go a little bit slide right and left it's also absolutely okay and we are going to draw the same thing in all four sides like this way right now it's looking very flat don't worry and I'm going to fill these circles and I'm going to leave some space as the highlight you see here rest of the circle I'm filling I'm leaving some space for the highlight we are working on a white paper so we can leave the space if we don't if we are not working on the white paper then we have to fill the whole circle and then we'll use the white jelly roll pen or the white uh, acrylic ink or the white correction pen marker for the highlights but right now if we are working on a white paper we can easily leave the space and we can save that step right mark the area where you want to create the highlight like that like this mark the area first in the circle and then fill the rest of it right now it's still this whole pattern is looking pretty flat but don't worry the most important and the last uh, last work in this artwork is the shading and when you do the shading it will give it beautiful 3d-ish look so we are kind of done with this and i'm going to keep this work like that because i want to keep it little on the top right side corner so can't resist start drawing <laughs> okay monica middle area is left unoccupied in mind still yeah if it is unoccupied you can make more you know you can make more you can make two or three from here no one can stop you you can make more go ahead and uh, make more and now in the leftover area I'm making few of these dots we call them stippling with the same pen if you are left with a lot of space, you can make these petal shape design more. Like you can make two of them. You can start one from here if you have plenty of space. So what I'm drawing here is kind of your, you know, the reference. You can definitely add your own elements based on the space or based on your choices. now guys please look carefully as you see these two lines are coming outside so we are going to extend them all the way to the corner so start as if the these lines are coming from the bottom of the outer lines Okay, so honey, I'm waiting. I'm keeping putting the pen cap here. I'm keeping my pen. I'm waiting for 30 seconds. Until then, guys. Okay, Lavina, I'm waiting. You can see me. I'm just sitting relaxed. And I'm watching you guys, your chat, I mean. And <clears throat> till then, let me remind you guys, if you guys are drawing along with me, write down one. If you are just enjoying watching me, write down two.
थैंक यू मैनसेन थैंक यू सूर्या करुणा थैंक यू हरिप्रिया थैंक यू मृदुला हितेश यस मोनिका दिस इज द फाइनल पिक्चर यू कैन सी हियर थैंक यू मोनिका कृष्णा लवीना ऑसम ऑसम लवीना आई लव टू सी योर मॉम्स वर्क टू बोथ ऑफ यू सो गाइज हु एवर इज ड्रॉइंग अलॉन्ग विद मी डोंट फॉर गेट टू सबमिट योर वर्क एट द डिस्कॉर्ड सो दैट आई कैन सी योर वर्क एंड आई विल गेट इंस्पिरेशन फ्रॉम सींग योर वर्क टू एंड यू गाइज कैन सी ऑल अदर पार्टिसिपेंट्स वर्क अलॉन्ग विद यू थैंक यू भावना मेघा निधि Sighek, Megha, Goel. Awesome! Thank you guys for your feedback. And if you haven't clicked the thumbs up button so far, you can switch off the chat and you can go to the main video. Click on the thumbs up button and come back to the chat again. And in the chat, there are two options: the top chat and the live chat. So make sure you are on the live chat because when you are on the top chat, it you know kind of hide some message you cannot see all the messages you can just see some specified messages if you want to see all the messages in the chat you have to go to the live chat so it's absolutely your choice and the important part is don't forget to subscribe the channel so that whenever i go live you will get be notified from the youtube too and subscription of the youtube is absolutely free and it will help me grow my channel too so thank you guys i'm still waiting lavina okay Thank you Kavita thank you Monica thank you Varsha I'm waiting for 30 more seconds Lavina go ahead and then uh, we'll start the next step what is the theme of today's doodle art so I know uh, Anirudha actually if I'm I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong Anirudha Anirudha Rai the name of today's theme is enigma and actually it is a a mixture of lot of uh, you know pattern and it's kind of mysterious so that's why what is coming out from this uh, pot or something like that you can make it you can make a story you can weave a story whatever way you feel like so that is why the name is enigma and basically as a human being we love to you know associate these pattern with something but they all are the abstract pattern hi vidhi not kavita if the middle is empty where do we take out extra pattern from so varsha if middle is empty start from these from this side and take out your pattern all the way from here to inside okay you can you can do from there and you can make lot of these uh, stippling that will help you in filling the pattern too okay arshi Now guys start making these lines Extend these lines all the way to the corner of your paper And now after this I would like to stop drawing the lines from here I would first like to draw the border here if you want you can use the ruler if you want you can use the pencil as the guideline and then you can retrace it otherwise you can directly draw the way I'm drawing here and now i'm making a double line to it and again guys if you want you can use your uh, pencil as the guideline or if you want you can use ruler it is absolutely your choice okay if you want you can make it little wavy also no worries but please make double line and after making this double line now we are going to make one more line here and 
this line now will stop here and then it will go further so that's how we are going to divide our this whole 6 inch by 6 inch square paper in different blocks 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 blocks and now we are going to draw various patterns inside these blocks shall we start together are you guys all done drawing these lines please write down in the chat so that i know that you guys are done till here awesome monica awesome Suha oh suhani man said okay okay so i got few yes and few waits so i'm waiting for 30 more seconds i would really like everyone to catch up and draw along thank you monica thank you hari priya for your feedback guys so guys you can hear me you can see me but i can't see you i can't hear you but i can see you through your chat so i really appreciate you guys when you guys give your feedback thank you guys <laughs> okay waiting so <coughs> okay kavita i'm waiting so what i'm doing i'm starting from this top left corner so whoever cannot catch up you can skip this block and then you can start with me on the next block and you can finish this block later that's what i can tell you guys okay take your time guys don't worry we are going to draw a lot of mushrooms here as you can see in this pattern also these are all the mushrooms which i'm talking about so for the mushrooms we are going to start from the base we are first going to draw the stem just let them flow both sides we are going to fill this pattern mm, i'm not sure why namul is saying sorry no problem namul you can skip this part and you can start from here just draw the boundary leave the inner part and you can draw that later okay draw this frowning line and draw this circle this is a cute mushroom stem frowning line and that circle if it is covering with anyone if it is so don't draw over it just keep filling the a, keep filling the area here you can draw in any side draw the stem draw the frowning line draw the circle that's how we are going to draw the mushroom let me change my pen it keeps skipping the And as you can see now the lines are coming along pretty well right so we are drawing like this keep filling the area in every single side you can make few you can make more it's absolutely your choice please show in waste paper what do you want me to show Nemul? please tell me <laughs> very pretty yes monica it looks really pretty i also love drawing these cute mushrooms Nemul, please write down what you want me to draw again i'll draw it quickly for you don't worry so that's all guys and in the rest of the area we can draw these little you know uh, these little twigs these are kind of going into various direction these are kind of the fillers and i really love these kind of fillers and you know these empty spaces i'm looking just the design what design Nemul? are you talking <laughs> I'm sorry, Namul. I can I just. I think she joined late, so, so yeah. She wanted to see something. So what I can suggest you, like draw this kind of square, this kind of pattern, and leave it empty, 
and then start making these lines and start working on these lines can we have can I, I will watch it later yes yes you can watch it later Nidhi anytime the video will be available for you guys uh, after the session you can restart it and you can watch it okay So, and it will be the same link that I, uh, so the link that you use to come to this video the same link will work yes thank you ajay so you can rewatch it and you can ask any question if you have right now because when you rewatch it then i can't reply you back at that time but still if you want you can ask me any questions through discord you know guys so on the discord i mostly reply very quick but uh, like you can uh, ask any question at the art corner or at the general chat even other participants can also help you guys in there if you have any general questions <clears throat> once you're done filling the spaces can you show the discord to the new participants yes so i know what we're talking about okay Ajay. also some of the kind of sessions that we do otherwise mm -hmm. sure Ajay. So please fill these leftover areas or the negative spaces and when you fill these areas you know you they the the filling of these negative spaces bring your actual work more forward and bring them more to upside and they create beautiful depth and the illusion in your work so don't you can use little thick tip pen also if you have the thick tip pen you can go ahead and you can use that that saves time also and one more i can see here so based on the spaces whatever you feel like you can go ahead and you can fill we are kind of done with this one top left section and as Ajay told me to show you guys quickly so as you can see here so this is the discord app guys you can click on the discord app and then you can see this is the Nidhi Prakash Arts and here are all the channels so this is the general chat beautiful and th this is the art corner and look Lekhya Bella you submitted beautiful we did it this last Friday I think this one beautiful Lekhya Bella and awesome ananya we made this one last class so this is the patrons only uh, mandala session which we did last saturday like yesterday yesterday we did this session and ananya submitted it these are the every thursday we are doing it so it's morning 10 o'clock for the us and i think 7 30 for the india and these are just the half an hour session or awesome wolfpack Kohli and this is the classwork awesome deepika awesome deepika so you guys can submit look here so people are submitting submitting and this is beautiful dorothy submitted she used a lot of all other you know uh, spiral arts and she combined them together so you can see a lot of inspiration and in the general chat you can talk you can see all the links of the different uh, oops and here is one uh, channel that is yeah, called the schedule, and schedule yeah. so in the schedule you can see the september calendar on which day what session what time you can see that in the schedule channel and in the upcoming projects you can see all the project like i just uploaded this one we are going to do this one coming sunday so you can see this one this pattern we are going to draw the coming sunday on 13th of uh, september so if you want to see all upcoming this mandala session we are going to do on the upcoming friday 11th september this is what we are going today enigma these are the dot paintings or and other you know sessions which are going to come in the future and this is absolutely free to join you can join that discord and you can be part of this beautiful art community let's start awesome Hari Priya 
now in this section we are going to divide this section into various sections first draw the center line absolutely straight yes Hitesh this is the final product which we are going to draw today and now we are going to divide it you know this side line we are going to draw little slanted towards the right hand side little contour and this will go to this side so that's how we will divide it and please look carefully thank you Nikisha now we are going to draw you know this is straight line and curvy line and a straight line and I'm kind of stopping here curvy line straight line curvy line straight line curvy line straight line curvy line so we keep on making one straight line and one one bump a straight bump a straight bump straight bump so we are we keep on making this way you can make these lines little bit more closer little bit more further it's absolutely your choice a straight line bump a straight uh, line can you bring the camera a little closer and do it a little slow okay i will can't understand no worries and uh, focus again please it's better now ajay yeah awesome so one section a straight line one section bump one section straight line, one section bump. A straight line, bump. Other way, if you want, you can just draw the straight line in the one section first, and then you can make bump, and then you can you can make a straight line. That way is also alternatively, yes. So alternatively, a straight line and then bump. Then a straight line bump. So we are going alternate. Other way of doing this, if you like that way, do a straight line in one section. then make bump in the next section then again make a straight line in the next section so that is also one way of doing it so it's absolutely your choice how you want to go ahead if you want you can make one one section at one time or if you want you can go ahead on the one line okay guys it's your choice how you want to do it whatever way you feel like easier you can go ahead and you can do that now again we are going to make bumps If you have thin tip pen you can use thin tip pen to make it more intricate if you want you can make these lines little bit more further to keep it very easy so it's absolutely like if you want to increase the difficulty level or if you want to make it more easier you can change the difficulty level at your own style or at your own uh, way whatever you feel like I try to keep the difficulty level moderate so that maximum pe people can easily follow along but i'm just giving you an idea how you can change the difficulty level at your own style at your own pace if you want to increase the difficulty level you can make the lines closer and you can change the pen to the thin tip pen and you will see the difference it changes absolutely when you change the tip of the pen it changes the whole pattern the way it looks This is a beautiful way of creating illusion that to change the direction of the line or the style of the line 
is straight and then the contour is straight and the contour and that's how you see it's giving the flat look and the 3d look and when you do the shading then it will definitely like change the whole game Keep making the curvy lines. Ta da! We are done with. Ma'am, which size? You are talking about which size? Size of the paper, size of the pen, the tip size. Awesome, Manson. Beautiful. I would like everybody to catch up here till then I'm just making these lines a little bit more. Uh, she's talking about the pen. Yeah, I'm using 0.5 mm pen now, but if you want, you can go ahead and you can use 0 0.3, 0 0.2 mm pen to create the intricacy more and to make it more intricate. You can change the tip size to a little smaller, whatever you have instead of the 0 0.5 mm. Okay guys, now we are working in this top right corner. Here, first I'm going to draw, you know, one line which is coming from here center and it is making this beautiful dot. This will be the beginning. Okay Karuna, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for 30 seconds for everybody to catch up till here and it seems like I smudge something here I'm checking my hand I don't see any black ink still I see little smudge here I'm just cleaning that please keep your artwork neat and clean that is really important don't smudge anywhere <clears throat> okay guys I'm waiting for your replies so Bhavna is done Manson is done Karuna and all in one zone is asking me to wait I'm waiting for 10 more seconds guys awesome now after making this long twig we are going to encapsulate that twig into lots of these parallel lines. One. And they can come all the way here. And you can draw these parallel lines whatever your space allows as big as less you can draw four rounds you can draw five rounds it's absolutely your choice how many rounds you want to draw that I'm going to stop here and now in this remaining section we are going to draw lots of you know beads kind of pattern as you can see here I have used that pattern in one of my uh, old design let's see if I find it quickly hmm. this one this uh, you see all, all these ocean wave kind of pattern here we made these are the uh, pattern which we are going to draw the camera can go a little back up now okay So now we are going to draw kind of, you know, these bead kind of shape. This one. And then it will kind of going here. And they can go in any direction. Focus. So draw these lot of kind of, you know, leaves, kind of shape. 
which are kind of connecting with each other and don't worry about these leftover spaces we are going to make lots of line straight in the middle and then little shape in the both side again if you want you can change the pan size to the little thin tip and you can see the difference here in this video I would try not to change the pen size so that you guys can easily get the idea but if you have a thin tip pen go ahead and change the thin tip pen and then you can see that it changes the whole pattern and make it more intricate and all to the different level a straight line in the center and then little contour line at both sides depending on the shape of your bead or the leaf whatever you want to call this pattern you can call it that is the fun that one pattern can be you know you can associate it with a lot of so many things but actually it is just in lines or circles or shapes very abstract pattern but when we combine all them together they look pretty isn't it guys and you feel that uh, good effect you feel so relaxed I really enjoy drawing these kind of pattern they are my favorite since my childhood and now we are going to use those little kind of uh, grassy twigs here also use them as the filler and they create the similarity also because something is like kind of going at the both side so let them go anywhere and this area I'm just filling as the negative space the base that's it the tiny one so that's all <coughs> sorry guys we are done with these top section now we'll work in this section and in this section we are going to make lots of squares so again if you want you can see this final version we are going to make lots of squares and these squares are tinier as they are closer to this pot kind of structure the center one and they are going little larger as they are going out <coughs> shall I start guys are you guys all done with the top three sections I'm waiting for 20 seconds 20 30 seconds let's see if you guys want to write anything or if you guys are done till here done awesome Hari Priya thank you for your reply and till guys don't forget to subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed it yet okay I'm waiting Lavina and don't forget to click on the thumbs up button and if you want to see, can you please do little fast okay Bhavna I can do little fast but I really want everybody to catch up with me so and I will definitely try to finish it up in one and a half hour so don't worry Bhavna okay draw the straight line draw the curvy lines And now it's the time to draw the squares so for the squares I'll just turn it around here and we are going to make these lines and these lines are a little closer as they are close to this pot kind of shape and try to make these lines a little further increase the distance as they are going little far as you can see here so they will become a little bigger here a 
now there are various ways to fill these boxes it's absolutely you whatever you feel like you can go ahead what we did in this pattern make some of the boxes fill with these kind of pattern not all and neither we are making the checker style we are just making some of them like here is one bunch here I filled one so just some of them to give it a very random and organic look you can absolutely go ahead and you can copy the way I'm filling or you can fill at your own style in different sections however way you want to do it Keep filling few here you go now I'm done with this section also And we are going to do shading in these ones when we are going to do shading at the very last that's the important very important part of our these pattern drawing and now we are going to work in this bottom right section so these bottom right sections are just the very very big gla gra grass blades so for the grass blades we are going to just draw you know these double lines and they are going pointy as they are going on the top and like if they are overlapping so just stop here and draw like this so that's how you are going to make the grass blades and with these grass blades we are going to fill this area So you can make in any direction, in any ways, they are kind of flowing here and there everywhere and we are going to fill this whole area like here all mushroom and here all glass, grass blades and here all of these kind of uh, you know some pattern of the filling leaves and all that and these two are the very abstract random pattern. If you want you can change these designs if you want you can fill them with the colors the way we fill colors in uh, all our other patterns it's absolutely your choice if you want to fill them color of your own way or if you want to keep it like the classic like the way just the black and white and fill this whole area with lots of these And when they overlap with each other they really look very pretty and this is kind of the bunch so it's okay let them go in any direction that's it so I'm now just stopping here kind of done with these grass blades now rest will fill with the uh, our graphite pencil with the shading and now we are kind of just left with this bottom left part and we are going to make lots of uh, circles and dotted patterns I just showed you one pattern here mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I have used you guys have drawn the type of that pattern with me mm -hmm. I don't know where did that go but you have drawn that this pattern with me not with the circle but you have drawn it with the half circle way in this one it's little changed the little variation of that one so we are going to draw lots of circles in the boundaries and then we are going to make their outer circles 
and we are going to make layers as if it's going down towards the inside so for making the circles we are going to start from the let's start from this top right corner so make beautiful circles here once you know the pattern how to draw it it becomes very easy and and when you uh, easily understand the pattern and you kept on drawing 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 the same thing then you feel that relaxing moments and then you feel that amazing meditative effect this is what happens with me i hope you guys are also enjoying drawing and feeling the same way the way i'm feeling and here i'm making one just try to put these circles in the equidistance it's absolutely okay if they are not ab absolutely uh, similar distance and absolutely not of the similar size don't worry guys it's pretty organic design let it be okay and one more thing guys i want to ask you if you guys can reply me while drawing this uh, how about you guys like hear about the session from the facebook you did you get the notification from the youtube so you can just write fb if you get the notification from the facebook yt if you get the notification from the youtube or you can write others or any other specific way if somebody tell you if you can give me thank you haripriya that will really help me uh, to know how you guys reach to this session I really appreciate your feedback guys you can write FB you can write YT okay or you can write others or whatever if you want to write anything else I drew all these circles keep drawing the circles and thank you for your feedback it would be great if everybody whoever is here with me can just write down how you reach out to this session how you know about this session that will really help me in my further sessions so that I don't really want you guys to miss it out and I'll continue the way I'm doing now we are going to encapsulate these circles we keep on drawing our very first layer in the outer border don't forget to rotate your paper try to avoid keeping your hand over your work that will help you not to smudge your work and I'm again restarting here and this time I'm doing two rounds together If you want to make it very easy you can keep these rounds a little bit more further and then you can fill this area quicker I was really thrilled when uh, last to last session I think Aruna submitted her three-year-old daughter's work in the spiral art she used the string and then used her favorite colors to fill them up with the kind of spirals that was really awesome and a lot of times I get submissions from 70 plus people also and all 60 plus 50 plus everyone enjoys these sessions so these are the sessions you know at every age even I'm enjoying them since my childhood when I was in the middle school so and even till now this is my favorite artwork I do art in all those a lot of different materials like a lot of graphite color pencils acrylics but I have really a very good passion for these pattern drawings and mandalas maybe I'm very passionate about this pattern drawing since my childhood so I can't leave them and I'm kind of growing in them you know so as you see and you can change these patterns into any size as I told you if like if you see this pattern this is just a six inch by six inch pattern and I have showed this in my previous sessions also you can convert this pattern into such this big pattern into the whole big one so it is absolutely 
uh, your imagination how you want to convert one pattern into the big pattern you can go ahead and you can add more designs and you can extend it of whatever size you want and as I showed you one other participant Dorothy she combined what is the next drawing we are going to do so Nikisha you can see all the upcoming projects in the discord there are the all the pictures and in the schedule you can see all the upcoming sessions and some of the streams have already made on the YouTube you can see on the YouTube also but discord is the right place to see all the upcoming projects and discord works best if you download the app first and then you click on the link of the discord which you can see in the chat every now and then that nightbot is giving you i think it is also in the description of this video if you're coming back to it later yes so now as you can see we are kind of done with this first layer here i'm kind of doing one more one more layer here and then now we will make the second layer so for the second layer we'll make not the whole circle we will just fill this half circle kind of on the edges of the two circles wherever they are joining so it is basically a teardrop kind of shape i should say And when we do the shading, it will look like as if we are making the T, as if we are making some, you know, uh, layering. So this is kind of we are making the second layer now. If you want, you can give highlights in these circles also. And if you have filled all of them, if you have any white jelly roll pen, you can give the highlights later. So now this is my second layer and I'm making two rounds now. And where my first layer ends, I'm going to make a double line. in that area in this one like this is my first layer where my first layer ends i'm going to make it little thick increasing the weight of the line that will help me in creating the illusion of the layer like this layer is at the top and that layer is going in the bottom and as you can see now Just the outer layer, guys. Just increase the weight of the outer layer. That's it. And now we keep on making these parallel lines. And we keep on filling the space of the second layer and if they are touching to the any other shape just stop there and continue drawing further okay that's how you can keep drawing keep drawing and keep filling the space 
so we are kind of done let's let me draw one more layer in this area okay we are kind of done with the second layer and now we are working in the third layer so for the third layer here again we are going to make these circles in between so we keep on making these layers as many layers as our space allowed if you are using a thin tip pen you can make more layers if you are using a little thicker tip pen you might be ending up with the just two layers or the three layers so it's absolutely okay and then when we do the shading it will look nice it will give beautiful 3d ish look and in the corner as you can see i'm just making this d shape and all of these are the kind of half moonish shape You can make them in any direction, whatever the way you feel like. That's how you can just fill this whole space. And now I'm just making one more layer here. And that will really create very beautiful illusion when you have so many layers. And every layer, wherever the every layer is ending, please try to make the line little thick when you are reaching to the end of the every layer. I'm going to make the way I made this first layer. I'm going to do on the second and the third layer also. If you have the thick tip pen, you can use the thick tip pen to making your layers a little bit more darker. Here I'm making one more of these crescent shape. And here you go. I'm kind of done with all the filling of these beautiful layers. How is it looking guys? Is it looking pretty? I really love this pattern. Uh, it's they all are the repeated pattern right that's what the pattern means is that you choose one style and then you keep on repeating it again and again and again and when you these are the repeated patterns but with the focus you can't lose your focus while drawing and when you repeat the same pattern but you are fully focused then you get that meditative effect then you feel that relaxing and the fun moment and that feeling of that achievement feeling of that yes we spend our time so creatively beautifully and the best part is there is no judgment that you make beautiful artwork or not beautiful artwork because believe me when you are doing this it looks pretty at the very end right So just don't judge your work enjoy the process and keep drawing wherever the layer is ending just make it little thick line that's it that's what I'm doing and ta-da! we are done I'm just making my these lines little bit more thicker the lines which I drew first because my that pen is giving little you know not perfect lines so i change the pen in between and as you can see when i'm like double lining my these lines the pattern is looking much more like you know uh, clearer
so please make your lines prominent especially of this pattern because this is the main pattern of our artwork of this composition which we are drawing today i don't know what is the name uh, or what do you want to call it you can call it a pot a mystical pot or whatever you want uh, this that's why the name of this pattern or the whole composition is enigma because it is kind of mysterious pattern you can call it whatever you feel like you can say this composition name you can use these kind of patterns these kind of artworks for any greeting card for i showed you already like how you can increase it into the size and you can make it in a big beautiful uh, artwork and you can like kind of frame it or hang it or gift it and you can use it in the greeting cards also you can use any beautiful whatever your color card stock is and you can stick it on the card stock and you can use it to gift okay i'm kind of done thank you rukmani i'm trying my best i really like doing uh, making these kind of pattern drawing and now it's the time the most important time of our these pattern drawing is the shading i'm going to use this prisma color ebony pencil you can use any pencil any pencil would work any school pencil or uh, any uh, b 4b 5b pencil is great now you see here inside of these pattern we are going to give little shading inside here we will not give shading in the center part because we want this center part to come up we will do little soft shading in the center but we'll do this little uh, thick shading these little hard shadings in the edges of these this uh, can we wait about uh, 30 seconds okay i'm waiting i'm waiting till then guys either grab your q-tip or grab your blending stump as the stamp blending device or grab any pencil whatever you have for the shading i'm waiting for 30 seconds for you guys take your time <laughs> thank you all in one zone i also love watching your submissions guys don't forget to submit your work okay and keep your pencil very sharp when you guys are doing the shading work as you can see i just laid down graphite in these four sections and i'm using this q-tip you can use q-tip or you can use the blending stem both will work fine and i'm just now blending it softening it lightly don't take it outside keep it inside in the pattern and yeah you see your q-tip will contain some of the graphite so use that graphite very lightly in rest of the area but not over the petal shape keep your petal shape clean and if by mistake anything goes especially in this top area so just use any eraser any precision eraser and clean it keep them bright So this is called the soft blending which we just did in this top area. Now we are going to do blending in this outer part. Keep these lines neat and clean. And little shadings in these blocks which we just filled, which we just give this shape. Not everywhere. Here I'm blending it lightly with clean. Like this. Now 
where this curvy line is so this curvy line is going inside which we want to give a little shadow of this top we are going to do here and we are going to bring this whole pattern in forward and these uh, knotted pattern in the bottom so we are going to give shadow over these pattern alongside with this so we are going to draw our lines here also as well as little bit on the corners of these patterns and as you can see I'm using my q-tip again here lightly going and don't worry if it goes up because it is just a graphite pencil we can erase it quickly hey Manaswini how are you doing now you see these bumpy areas so near the bumpy areas we are going to give this into the corner just into the corner don't fill all the way just into the corner of the bumpy areas and the center part will become up we have done this kind of blending a lot of time guys if you remember and because this is the precision kind of I'm using the blending stump but we can do it with the q-tip also and if anything comes in the center we can erase it if you have white jelly roll pen we can go ahead and use the white jelly roll pen in the center if you have white charcoal pencil you can use white charcoal pencil awesome Manaswini like you can see i'm using this white jelly roll pen here so this is the white jelly roll pen and the same brand they both are of the same brand sakura brand and i'm just going to use this white jelly roll pen yes white jelly roll pen into the center of these lines so that will bring it will bring the center part more little forward it is absolutely optional if you don't have white jelly roll pen you can use any white correction correction ink marker pen you can use white um, charcoal pencil or if you don't have you can just skip it it's absolutely your choice Okay, Manaswini, don't forget to submit your work in the Discord, okay? Awesome, Manson. If it is looking like 3D, I'm so happy that it's working for you too. Yes, Lavina, you can use whitener. And now I'm doing the soft blending with, the, with my Q-tip in these mushrooms. I'm doing into the little bottom area of these mushrooms, you know. And leaving the top little white. Just the sides. like this and now again I'm using my pencil here and I'm using a little bit shading in these inner sections also here this little inner section also here this little inner section also here so a lot of shading is required in this pattern and when you do the shading then you really feel you know that as if you are putting life to your pattern this is what I feel the shading is really important and they bring they take your pattern to absolutely different level and now the most important part of the shading is in these layers where we are working so if you want you know you can fill these leftover spaces like the way we fill this negative spaces that is also one way of filling this but right now I'm just filling this hole with the soft blending style 
and I'm going all the way to this bottom part very lightly. I'm not filling this border, okay? I did it very light. I'm pretty sure it's visible on the screen too. Hi, Pramila. Thank you, Lavina. And now the last shading part is in these layers. You see wherever the layers are ending, just lay down the graphite. If you want to fill colors in your pattern drawing, you can skip the shading part and you can use colors instead of the shading and you can combine both of them. Both ways it works well. It depends what kind of output you are looking for. So I suggest you try different ways in different patterns and then gradually you will uh, find your favorite way of doing it and every style will give you different aspects okay I'm kind of done laying down now now I'm doing uh, softening them I'm blending them and if anything is coming up we can erase it later with the eraser or you can just leave them it's absolutely up to you now in the second layer are they giving you the depth are they giving you the look that it as if it's going in down thank you Pramila And this is really important to give shading in this border also where they are starting and then this whole block here it will really give it beautiful depth if you give this shading here so don't forget to give the shading in the edges okay so one layer i lay down the graphite little dark from the corner the second layer i'm laying down the graphite very light alongside with that and now i'm going to shade it if you do these kind of two layers of the laying down of the graphite one very dark and then one uh, very loose kind of easy graphite it really helps you in blending it quickly and easily That's how you can do it. I'm just making this area a little darker. Just this corner. Because I was carrying a lot of graphite so I'm taking advantage of it. And maybe I can use my eraser and erase if I find to clean these blades more brighter. That's it guys. So if you want you can keep your artwork in any you know zip pouch zip lock or if you have any uh, fixative spray you can use the fixative spray in the open area with the mask with the mask <laughs> because you know the fixative sprays are not really very good for our health but if you are ending up using them because if you really want to keep your artwork intact for long of time long like 
for longer period so you can use that and if you want to keep it in the zip pouch like the way i kept it in the zip pouch like like this it is in the bag so you can keep it and it's safe then you don't need those varnish or fixative sprays it's absolutely your choice how you want to do it and now the last and the most important part before we finish up uh, is namul is saying happy birthday to me in advance thank you namul <laughs> okay thank you now i'm signing up it's my initials np and today's date is 6th 9.6.20 tada and now it's the time to praise your artwork good job nidhi prakash you did beautiful guys say aloud your name say some good words to yourself say some good words to your artwork this is most important part of any kind of pattern drawing to praise yourself to your artwork and how you spend this hour in full of creativity i hope you guys enjoyed working with me and you must have felt that relaxation uh, feeling and you had fun don't forget to submit your work don't forget to submit your artwork either at the discord or at facebook wherever you feel like i prefer to see it at the discord but you can submit anywhere wherever you feel like and if you have any questions about it go ahead and you can ask it i am still here for few more minutes thank you monica <laughs> thank you master ji thank you karuna thank you bhavna thank you for joining me you all are welcome and again if you haven't clicked on the thumbs up button in the video go ahead and click it if you haven't subscribed the channel go ahead and subscribe it and you will get notification whenever i go live and you can see all my sessions we are going to do this pattern we are going to draw the coming sunday 13th of september this pattern we are going to draw coming friday this will be next friday so all pattern pictures you can see in the upcoming sessions channel in discord <laughs> thank you namul Thank you for your best wishes. Thank you everyone for joining me. Time to say goodbye. Have a happy weekend rest of the day and see you on the coming Thursday for the spiral art session. Bye.